Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to today's final installment of Student Story Week. We're ending on an awesome note. Um, we're here with Edwina from Panama, and she has done some of these with us before, so some of you may recognize Edwina. Um, so Edwina, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you so much. And I don't know if you wanna tell our viewers a little bit about yourself. Obviously, we can see you came from Panama, but maybe tell them how long you've lived in California. Yeah, of course. Uh, I have been living here for almost three years now. Okay, and how did you end up in California? Like, did you always wanna live there? Was it other circumstances? What, what brought you to that state specifically? <laughs> uh, well, the real reason is because my boyfriend, um, uh -huh. he's from California, so we met in Panama, and then he applied to grad school uh, in Berkeley, and I wanted to take English classes, so it was like, wow, this is the perfect opportunity to move here. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I love that story, and I think that's something so many people can relate to. Myself personally, I, I studied abroad in Mexico when I was in college and I, I met a guy and moved back down to Mexico. So that's why I'm here. And I think a lot of people do that. You know, I think yeah. that happens. <laughs> and it makes it fun. You know, you already know somebody. It's not as scary. So that's cool. Exactly. Uh, it's an adventure. Yeah, exactly. So you, did you know, did you always live in that area of California in like the Berkeley area or did you move around at all? Uh, we just live, yeah, only in Berkeley. And so part of the very exciting thing was that I knew that um, the Bay Area was like very international. So I felt very like happy and excited, but also confident that it will be easier to live here and to move and figure out school and everything. So yeah, it, it, I have always lived here, but I, I also know it is very, very different from other places in California. Everywhere is unique. So yeah, for sure. I know, um, well, first of all, did you visit the Bay Area before or was when you arrived to study, was that your first exposure? I visited, yeah. First, I visited um, for a month. I came here to California and we explored um, a few schools for him and for me. Mm -hmm. And but then when he, my boyfriend, got into Berkeley, we were thinking, like, well, uh, it is, it is. That's the the first choice. Yeah, it's Berkeley. I mean, of course. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> of course you're gonna choose it. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I tell you, I'll tell you a little secret. You know, I'm from Ohio and. Um, when I was maybe 15 or 16, we did a family vacation out to California. And um, at that time, the show, uh, the OC, and like that's like when the OC, Laguna Beach, The Hills, <laughs> like all of those shows came out. Yeah. And we flew into Southern California. I think we flew into San Diego and then we drove all the way up the coast. So we w went through the Bay Area, we went all the way up to Monterey. And ever since that trip, my goal totally changed. I was like, I have to be in California. I want to <laughs> live in California. So that was like my dream. But yeah. yeah, unfortunately for me, when it was time for me to go to college, my, my parents were like, well, in-state tuition, California tuition. And yeah, okay, I guess I'll stay in state. But, you know. <laughs> So, you know, speaking of, I, I had started looking at schools in California and I remember sifting through the options and, and thinking about what I wanted to do. But what made you land on Berkeley City College? Was it just because your boyfriend was studying at Berkeley or did you have any other influence there? Well, for me, I wanted to find a place that it, it was um, very easy to get there, like the location, very convenient. And because I don't like to commute uh, that mm -hmm. much, I like to like ride my bicycle or walk. And that was very convenient about Berkeley City College, but also about the programs and all the resources. I was really impressed by all um, the really nice services that they have for students and especially for international students. So mm -hmm. that, that was like uh, the thing that made me so very excited and, and more confident that I, I can see myself studying there. 
Yeah, that's good. Those are all good things to, to focus on. And that's something I've really been stressing to our viewers during the Student Story Week. It's like, it's really important to choose a school that has experience working with international students and has the resources and, and those kinds of support services set up to help you. It, it really makes such a difference when you have those compared to if you don't. So I think that's a great, a great reason to choose a school. And you started by studying English, correct? Yes. Okay. And then you started a, de a degree program, right? Exactly. <laughs> okay. So you're doing an associates now? Or did you finish yeah, already? I, I am finished. This is my last semester, and oh. I will get the uh, associates in art for sociology. That's the major. Oh, awesome. That's so cool. Do you have any plans for the next step? Do you know what you're going to do after you finish? Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, well, since the last time I was talking to you, I wasn't sure yet, yet to what university I will transfer. But now I hear back from UC Santa Cruz and I, I will transfer there for the fall. Congratulations, that's amazing. Thank See, you. Guys, this is what we're always trying to stress by why you should start at a community college. You know, you, you really get that foundation. You really get to take different courses and discover what you like or improve your English. And then you transfer and you can transfer into a top school. You know, it's not... It's not that out of reach to get into one of those schools that may seem unattainable from the beginning, but with that community college push, you really get that preparation you need to, to make that happen. So um, I think that's a great option. Do you regret at all choosing a community college instead of going straight to university? Not at all. Um, well, now that I'm, I think about it, like in my last semester, I actually regret a little bit that I didn't take more classes here mm. because it is such a different environment and you have like more freedom to take any classes that you want and especially those that are just like for fun mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. I, I i think that's good to, to take time and like uh, take all those classes that interest you and then transfer if you want but yeah i i really like my experience here as a student that's awesome. I know that flexibility is just something that you can't really get anywhere else, you know, and just having that that freedom to pick and choose random little classes that, you know, <laughs> just maybe something that's totally just for fun, but you could really discover a new passion by doing that. And you get credit. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's sad. It, it is amazing, really, for me, um, because I already studied in Panama. I wasn't really used to that freedom. I was more um, I have been used to that my curriculum was chosen by the faculty that is of my m major, but here you can take any classes that you want. You still have to take some classes that are required, but you have that opportunity to explore and find um, other things that you like besides your major just to, that you want to learn. And so it is really nice that, that you, you can actually take classes that you want to learn about. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's so cool. I remember too, like when I was in school, I some of those random little extracurricular type, I, that's not the right word, but you know what I'm talking about. The, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can't think of the word right now, but some of the, the extra <laughs> classes I took, like they were so fun. I, I remember I took like a workout class. I took, uh -huh. I think I took a golf class. Uh, <laughs> And I really discovered I loved psychology. So I, you know, mm. I started taking these random different psychology courses, even though I wasn't a psych major. But yeah, it's awesome when you have that freedom and flexibility. But okay, so I want to switch a little bit more. We talked about our academics, but I really want to focus on like the outside of school life. Um, so what's your favorite part about being a student in a place like Berkeley or, you know, the Bay Area of California? Well, for me, I think it was that um, there is so much to do here. Like there is like a lot of things to do outdoor. If you are an outdoor person, uh, a lot of hikes and the Bay Area is so beautiful because there are so many beaches and like nice parks and you can spend like a nice day um, walking with friends in the park or like going to the beach. It's like a really nice place to spend the day out. But also mm -hmm. you can do so many things at night and like 
it has a really fun like nightlife but also mm-hmm. like not too crazy like it, it yeah. is i think it is uh, really nice because you feel um you feel safe at night uh, relatively mm-hmm. safe and i think that's important for international students yeah that's good do you have any favorite spots you like to go out to any hidden gems that you want to share with the viewers <laughs> um <laughs> uh, well i think very close to berkeley city college one of my favorite places in berkeley is called jupiter it's a pizzeria and they have a beautiful outdoor area with a fireplace and live music so Ooh. that is uh uh-huh, it is super okay. fun and not too expensive <laughs> good yeah that's important that's important <laughs> have you found um You know, living in California, sometimes California has this reputation for being very expensive. Has that been something that you had to adjust to or were you prepared for that? Do you feel that it's expensive or or is it just normal? Well, yeah, it was really shocking at the beginning, but mm-hmm. um I think that it helps to understand that uh, it is more expensive that's right. But uh, students can also get jobs on campus, and mm-hmm. for me that was a big thing because I got I was able to um, save the money I for uh, a little bit of money every month, and also um, be create a budget that can fulfill all the needs that I have with housing, food, and everything, and then see what okay with the money that I have left, what can I do? And since there are so many things in the Bay Area. You don't really need that much money to go out and explore mm-hmm. the city like really that is pretty pretty cheap that part of being an adventurous person in the yeah. city so you you don't have to spend that much especially if you have a bicycle <laughs> you don't mm-hmm. need any money for that just just buy that's the bicycle true. Yeah, that's true. And in that area, you're right. There are so many cool outdoor places to just go outside, walk around, take in the views. There's great people watching and you don't have to spend any money for that. <laughs> no, those things are free. The best ones are free. Yeah, exactly. Was there anything that you struggled with when you first arrived to California um or throughout your time living there? Has there been anything that's maybe been a little bit challenging to get used to? Um well, I think um the most difficult thing of uh, self, like moving to the bay area was getting used to the traffic because um Berkeley is a really fun place because it's surrounded by other cities that are super fun like Oakland and San Francisco but they are not far but there is so much traffic during um certain times of the day and sometimes like if i wanted to go to San Francisco at the beginning um during my first month like i will get stuck in the car for like hours <laughs> oh no <And> that, <laughs> yeah <laughs> and that's not oh. fun at all but yeah. those little things like that getting used to the life here it takes a few months but then it's like okay then for now it's not a problem at all but at the beginning yeah. i was like, struggling navigating the city by car especially but, yeah Yeah. yeah, those are the kind of things that, you know, you get used to after a while and, and it helps to have someone to kind of mentally prepare you, you know, like it. But but I do think it's kind of known around at least for in the <laughs> states, we all know that the traffic in California is terrible. So I was I was kind of expecting that answer. I imagine that's what you were going to say, the traffic. <laughs> Now, that's true. Excuse me. I don't know if uh if there's much of a difference. I've been to Panama before and I the part I was in it seemed pretty warm. But did you <laughs> did you have any kind of transition with the weather? Like did it take you some time to adjust to that or or was that okay? Yeah, yeah, it said it was not okay. <laughs> Because <laughs> it is yeah, Panama is way warmer and more humid and here we have those seasons like the four seasons and Winter is not as bad as in other places but it gets a little bit chilly um even during the summer. <laughs> mm-hmm. So you always need a, a jacket just in case. And yeah. as long as you have the jacket and as long as you plan ahead like checking the weather app it always helps. And I think that's the only thing just to be prepared but um and maybe also having a good pair of boots 
during the mm -hmm. rainy season that that really makes a difference in my time mm -hmm. here <laughs> yeah good rain boots yeah there's nothing worse than walking around with like soggy socks <laughs> oh my god no <laughs> Uh, no, those are good tips. So students, buy your rain boots if you're going to study at BCC <laughs> and bring a jacket. Yeah. No, but that's nice, though, especially if you're from someplace that's warm all the time. Like, was it cool for you to experience the different seasons? It was so fun, really. For me, I the first time I went to the snow, it was here now that I moved here to the U.S. And it was amazing. Now I even like it. Like, I love it. I want to go in the winter, spend as many days as I can. <laughs> and that is something that I could never experience in Panama. So mm -hmm. it is, um, you can have like really all the different seasons and have so many different activities in each, during each season and in each place. Because to drive to the snow is not as far from Berkeley. So you, you get uh, good things from both worlds. Nice, nice. So is winter your favorite season now? I think so. I think it's the most exciting now because it's so new and like everything looks so beautiful with the snow. So it's, yeah, I don't know. I love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it doesn't snow in Berkeley, right? You have to go outside of Berkeley. Yeah, you have to okay. drive. Uh -huh, you have to drive. <laughs> okay. I was going to say, I was like, really? It snows there? I didn't imagine no. that. Yeah. <laughs> no, it is beautiful. I know... Growing up in Ohio, I we had some pretty snowy winters there. And when I lived there, of course, it was I was sick of it. I was tired of it. But now that I live someplace where it's hot all the time, I'm like, oh, I miss those four seasons. And when I go home yeah. for Christmas, like, you know, I have a whole new appreciation for the snow. <laughs> it is gorgeous. Yeah. No, that's awesome, though. So you, you know, you get to be in California. You're close to beaches, but you can also drive to see the snow. I mean, that sounds pretty perfect for a student coming from a warm climate who may just want to get that experience. Um, so thank you for sharing that. That's fun. Um, okay, Edwina, before we, we oh, I can't talk, before we wrap <laughs> up, <laughs> all those W's, before we wrap up, do you have any final pieces of advice you'd like to share with students who may be considering studying in California or in a community college? Uh, yeah, of course. I think uh, in my experience, I couldn't recommend more studying at the community college, especially considering all the wonderful resources that there are. And I think in, it is a really good place to find out what is your major, what you want to study, what career you are interested in. Also take English classes and then transfer because you have all these connections with uh, with for your universities. Like for example, I am going to transfer to Santa Cruz, and all the resources that helped me transfer to Santa Cruz were um, were available in my community college. Mm -hmm. So I think, yeah, for me, it has been a really good experience, and I know that for many international students, this is the really an ideal place to study. So. Um, just well, to awesome. find out the information, I think it's the most important part, find the information and, and find a good match. Exactly. Thank you for sharing that. I agree with you 100%. It's all about finding your fit and exploring your options because there may be something you didn't think about and it really could be the ideal fit for you, especially when it comes to community college. So thank you so much, Edwina, for sharing your time with us and for telling us about student life in California. Again, I'm living vicariously through you since it was always my dream to study in Cali. Oh. <laughs> so I'm so happy you, you're, you're enjoying it and you're having such a great time. Um, all right, Thank you guys. You. So we will see you tomorrow for the next round of Student Story Week. But Edwina, thank you so much. And to everyone, see you tomorrow. Thank you.